The experiment to detect the global EOR signature edges is an experiment and radio telescope located in a radio quiet zone at the Murchison Radio Astronomy Observatory in Western Australia. It is a collaboration between Arizona State University and Haystack Observatory, with infrastructure provided by CSIRO. EOR stands for Epoch of Reionization, a time in cosmic history when neutral atomic hydrogen gas became ionized due to ultraviolet light from the first stars. Topic: Low band instruments. The experiment has two low band instruments, each of which has a dipole antenna pointed to the zenith and observing a single polarization. The antenna is around 2 by 1 meter, 6.6 .6 feet times 3.3 feet in size, sat on a 30 by 30 meters, 98 feet times 98 feet ground shield. It is coupled with a radio receiver, with a 100 m cable run to a digital spectrometer. The instruments operate at 50 to 100 MHz 6.0 to 3.0 m, and are separated by 150 m. Observations started in August 2015. Topic. 78 MHz Absorption Profile In March 2018 the collaboration published a paper in Nature announcing the discovery of a broad absorption profile centered at a frequency of 78 plus or minus 1 display style 78 pm1 mhz in the sky averaged signal after subtracting galactic synchrotron emission the absorption profile has a width of 19 minus 2 plus 4 display style 19 underscore minus 2 carat plus 4 mhz and an amplitude of 0 0.5 minus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.5 Display style 0.5 underscore minus 0.2 carat plus 0.5 k against a background RMS of 0.025 k, giving it a signal to noise ratio of 37. The equivalent redshift is centered at z approximately equals 17. Display style z approximately 17, spanning z equals 20 to 15. The signal is possibly due to ultraviolet light from the first stars in the universe altering the emission of the 21 centimeters line. A more exotic scenario is that the signal is due to interactions between dark matter and baryons. Topic. High band instruments The high band instrument is of similar design, and operates at 90 to 200 MHz 3.321.5 meters. 